In this video, we're gonna talk about static files in Django. So static files are basically a folder that we can create and store things like CSS, JavaScript, and images. And it basically lets us separate our code from Python code and store any extra things in that particular folder. So the first thing we'll do is actually grab this CSS right here and move it to the static files folder. And right now it's not a lot of code, but when you have a lot of pages, it's a lot better to have one centralized area to store our CSS and the same for JavaScript and images. You don't wanna to have to look into multiple files for this. So let's go ahead and first remove this styling. Actually, I'll, uh, I'll copy it just so I have it. And we'll copy it and we'll just get rid of everything and we'll see where our page is at. And I did use some custom CSS, so it's gonna remove a few things here. So in our dashboard or on our homepage, we had those in some form of colors, but that just removed it and the rest is bootstrap. So that's why we still have that. So in here, in our root directory, let's go ahead and create a folder called static. And this is where everything will be. So static will be the name of our folder and we'll create a particular folder for our CSS file. So we'll just say CSS and another one to store our JavaScript, which we don't have right now, but I'll go ahead and uh, just make that and another folder for all of our images. So we'll just call that images. And in our CSS file, we'll create a main.css file. So main.css. And this will be the CSS that stores the base files for our template. So if we have to, if we happen to have a, another CSS file that we wanna make, we would create it and call this um, about page CSS or whatever whatever else we want to customize, but it'll be put into this CSS folder here. So from there, what we need to do is configure our project first to read this folder. So right now Django doesn't know about this and our main template also has no idea about it. So what we're going to need to do is configure Django and then throw in the link to that static file or the path to it. So in our settings.py file, this is where we're going to configure everything. So by default, Django already lets us know the URL path is static. So we don't need to do anything there, but what we do need to do is create another variable here. We'll call this static files underscore directory. So dir or dirs. And this will just be a list here. And what we need to do is tell Django where our folder sits. So right now it's in the root directory and we need to let Django know about that. So we'll just do os.path dot join and we'll use a base dir variable and I'll show you where this comes from and we need to let it know which folder to look for what's the file name so whatever we name the file uh, if we call this static files we would have to say static files but right now we just call it static and that's what it's going to look for so it's going to look for our root directory and find it right there by the name and base dir is basically our project base directory and it's already specified right here so it's not coming out of nowhere and what we need to do now is import these static files into our template. So we have our main template here and we need to create a link for the static file. So it'll just be a link like you would import any other CSS. So we create a link here and the URL path, we're actually gonna use Django's method of doing this. So before we do anything else, we need to load in a tag here. And again, I'll, I'll talk about tags in another video but just follow along for now and throw in the load static tag. And this basically lets Django know that we're able to work within static files in this template. So from there, we need to create the link now. And this is just gonna be two curly braces, two percent signs, and we will say static. So look, for, look into the static folder and look for CSS. So go to this folder look for CSS and look for main.css. And this should now include our CSS into our template. Even though we don't have it in here, it's now linking out to that static file folder. So we'll save it and we should now have our CSS code here. And there we go. So we linked our CSS and I'll just fix this little bug here. And then we'll load in, or now we'll load in our logo. So after I fix that, we'll build in a logo and I'll figure out where that's coming from. Oh, it's right here. So we remove that. So now let's throw in our logo and images are very similar to the CSS here. So 
I'll go ahead and grab a logo really quickly and uh, we'll just throw that into our images file here and I'll load it into. And to throw that logo in, I'm gonna go ahead and, I have it right here. So it's just my name and some fan fancy text here. Um, you're actually not able to see it because it's white, but we'll open up our project and, oops, I'm not trying to open up the SQLite database here. And we'll go to images and drag in our logo there. So our logo is now contained within the static files. There we go, it's logo.png. So now we need to go to our nav bar and change the change it from a text-based logo to that uh, the logo we just put in here. So give me a second to throw that in here. So what I'll do here is start an image tag and the source will be similar to the link here. So in our main template, I need to close a few of these out actually, I'm confusing myself. Close out customer and dashboard and we just need main.html. So actually before we throw in our logo, let's go ahead and settings and configure that. So for static URL, so for the CSS files, this is all we need and for JavaScript files, but we also need to specify a media URL. And this is basically saying any kind of images or videos, um, where are we looking for those? And the path that I specified was images. So that's what I named my folder. So that's the URL path we need to use now. And now we can go to our nav bar and in the nav bar, we also need to load in static. So there is template inheritance, but um, actually I'll test this out right now. For some reason, I think you need a static file in every single, uh, in every single template, but we might not need to do that. So here's our image and we'll go ahead and do the percent sign. And then instead of saying, actually we are gonna use the word static, so static, and we'll put that in a single quote and we'll just say images. So look into the images folder and look for logo.png. And I think this should do it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we do need that load static in there. So let's just go ahead and write that out here. So that does need to be in every single template. And that should fix that issue for us. Okay, there we go, we have our logo and that handles static files for us. So in the next video, we're actually gonna start building out our database. So we'll go ahead and migrate all that. And after that, we'll start rendering out our data into the actual templates and we'll also cover the Django admin panel.